Good afternoon everyone, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. So um, I don't do a whole lot of Dollar Tree hauls, but I did go to the Dollar Tree um, yesterday. So I was talking to Marina, uh, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, and she's like, you should throw a haul up. So, so I'm going to do that. So if you guys are new to my channel, because I've gotten a lot of new um, subscribers in the past few weeks. Hi, my name is Gina Schweppe. I am a mom of four living in Southern California. My primary um, niche is couponing, but I am recently was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I am openly sharing my journey with you guys. And Dollar Tree makes me happy. So I popped in there. The reason why I popped into Dollar Tree is because my daughter ran for student council and she made a poster and good news, she won. So she is in student council. I am so proud of her. But I also wanna share with you guys some of the other things I picked up. So the first thing I picked up is this cherry pie sign and it has the recipe of how to make a cherry pie. I'm sure there's like multiple ways to make a cherry pie, but there's like a little recipe here and it has some of the ingredients that you need. And my thought was, this would be a really cool like white elephant gift or a secret Santa gift or just like an easy like teacher gift. You could totally pair this with a either a disposable pie tin or you could get a really nice pie tin and then maybe add some of the non-perishable items like the granulated sugar, the cornstarch, um, the almond extract, maybe a whisk and some measuring spoons. And I think this can make for a really good deal. I think this could make for a really good gifting idea, but this is actually gonna go live with my niece, Emma. She had this really cute pump, uh, apple pie one. So I thought I would go ahead and add to her pie collection decor and send this over to her. So I thought this was really cute and really good quality. All right, so Scarlett also, she can't pass up emojis. So she picked these up. So she picked up the emoji stickers and a little emoji journal, which I thought was really cute. So next up, uh, this was actually something Scarlett found and it is a police car box. And this is so stinking cute. So one, if you're doing like a first responders party, this could be something really cool to gift a present in or maybe favors or whatever it is. But I'm actually gonna use this for Tanner. He's my five-year-old, loves police cars, loves, um, fire trucks, ambulances, first responder things, all the stuff. So I think I'm going to save this for Christmas time and put like his little stocking stuffers in it. So I think that's what I'm going to use this for, but this was a find from Scarlet. So speaking of stocking stuffers, I have one more. This is for Sawyer. He's in the other room. He's my seven-year-old. And I just learned from his little, uh, how well do you know me quiz at back to school? So I thought this would be perfect for him. So I picked that up for him. And I love dogs. I, I have an obsession with dogs. I have three dogs of my own. I have a St. Bernard, a German Shepherd Mutt, and a Chihuahua Pug. I couldn't pass these up. Dogs in Halloween costumes. I mean, shoot, I would pack my own little snacks in these things. But uh, Tanner takes his lunch to school, so I thought I would make... Um, Halloween month um, even more special and put his snacks in these little um, disposable little bags. So I thought these were cute. So the next thing I picked up was foam mounting tape. So I picked this stuff up because when I do my decorating for holidays, I always save my kids like paper crafts from like preschool, kindergarten, all that stuff. And I just put it in our big tote that is with the seasonal things. So like all of our fall stuff, I have like fall crafts that they've done in the past. And I always use these to stick them on my cupboards because I like to put like our old pictures from seasonal things on our cupboards. I love to put um, their old artwork. They really love looking at the artwork. So I picked that up. And then I picked up these foam, they're not foam, they're felt stickers. So I work at a fitness studio and I do childcare and front desk. And something I've learned with the kids is they get so bored just watching TV or playing with the same toys. So I started doing some like seasonal crafts with them. They were so cute. They did some pumpkins this past week and they're really, really easy crafts, but
they are so excited uh, with their work after it's all said and done. So they're liking it. So I'm gonna keep on doing that for them. So I picked up some little witch hats. I also picked up some owls. And then I picked up some more like miscellaneous Halloween stickers. So next up, I picked up some breast cancer awareness stuff. So again, if I didn't mention, I have triple negative breast cancer. I have surgery in two weeks and then I start my chemo. So um, I picked up a few car magnets. So this one says pink is more than just a pretty color. I also picked up this pink uh, ribbon. And then I also picked this one up. It says never give up. And then I found these little tech stickers and I thought these are really cute too. So I can put on my water bottle, I can put on my computer. And then I kind of have a little stash of things because I have been meeting so many people on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, who are in similar journeys as me. So I just sent off a little care package to a friend of mine um, who just had surgery and is just starting chemo. So I sent her a little like well-wish package um, yesterday. So I wanna start making a little collection of things because that's just gonna be like my thing now. My passion project is gonna be chemo like care kits. So um, I'm gonna definitely load up on these. I have a PO box. If you guys at all ever wanna send any like breast cancer stuff and like help support this little passion project of mine, feel free. Um, if you guys wanna make like cards like well-wish cards and send them off to me and then i can put them in the care packages i do if you have like a girl in girl scouts or brownies or cadets or whatever um if you want to suggest this to like their troop leaders that would be a really cool idea too so just a thought so next thing i got i got this just because of this specific sticker it says homebody i am such the homebody if i could stay home every single day I would not have a problem doing that because I just love sitting in bed, laying in bed with all my dogs, watching my shows. I am currently watching uh, the original season of 90210 and I am loving it. <laughs> so that's usually where you can find me is in bed watching 90210. Okay, so the last thing I picked up, I'm gonna save in our gift closet because um, I thought it was a really good find and it's these Hardy Boy books. So I got The Secret Files number one, and this is the Trouble at the Arcade. I also got the Missing Mitt. This is number two. I also got Mystery Map. And then I also got Hopping Mad. So I thought I would go ahead and just give this as a gift of like a set of four books um, instead of a toy. Me as a mom, I much prefer like books for my kids for their birthdays or like gift cards because all the little toys, it just becomes way too much. So anytime someone gifts my kids books, I love it. So I'm just going to tuck this away because all four of these came out to $5. So I think this is a great gift idea, especially for kids in elementary school age. So this is everything I picked up over at my local Dollar Tree. So I definitely plan to do more Dollar Tree videos. Um, throughout my channel because I am going to need to pass the time while I'm at home, like recovering from chemo and whatnot. Um, I'm going to need things to do. So I have like a list of DIY projects and various things like that. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a different video. I normally don't do Dollar Tree, but here you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you consider clicking that subscribe button if you want to keep seeing my content.